My name is Geth Anthony. I play Renly Baratheon, Lord of Storm's End and Minister of Laws. He sits on the uh, small council uh, at uh, King Robert Baratheon's um, sort of uh, holdfast, which is King's Landing, which is the capital of Westeros as it is, as the seven kingdoms you know, have been united. He's grown up uh, sort of the younger brother of a rebellious sort of usurper king, but to him it's their family's right to be there. And, uh, and he's sort of grown up in the court, in and around King's Landing, and uh, he sort of enjoys himself quite a lot. You know, he, he's got, he's sort of close enough to the seat of power that he can kind of enjoy himself. He's got a really big secret. And, um, and he sort of tries to make the best of the world that's around him, I think. Uh, Loras, Tyrell and Renly uh, do have quite a a close and intimate relationship, one that Renly uh, enjoys very much and it's a source of affection for him in a world that isn't really uh, renowned for its affection. I think that's a, a big part of it. Um, and he's a, he's a great looking lad and uh, I think Renly likes that and he's a, he's a talented uh, swordsman and Renly likes that as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they're very, very close indeed. Um, because of their relationship, Loris, does have uh, a, a quite a, a big influence on him. I mean, he shares his private moments with Loris um, because of this affectionate relationship, and that puts Loris in a position of power, really, because he he's able to speak to Renly in a way that no one else can, and has a perspective on the court that Renly doesn't have, which is not quite being in the small council or anything like that. He's stepping away from it, so he can sort of see the sort of shifting tectonic plates of power from a different perspective, and that's valuable to Renly, but it's also, uh, it becomes dangerous because it's, um, Loris encourages him in a way that maybe others m might not. Um, and as we see throughout the series, Renly takes Loris's point of view quite seriously, um, which I think is very interesting actually, because as I say in the books, you don't get to see behind closed doors, and it's interesting to see. I think David and Dan are, and, and Brian, and all the writers, have done a great way of contextualising what makes decisions happen and what what motivates the political cogs, and it's often very personal and very driven by you know character and desires and things like that.